It worked. <laughs> I'm always shocked. Okay, that didn't shock me because the flip didn't work. Can't flip it. Oh, maybe I should have warmed it up out here. It is a oh, little... Oh, shush, 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 Vicky. We don't need that. Okay. Am I early or on time? <laughs> I don't know. Hi, Darla. Hi, Donna. Hi, Jackie. <clears throat> Hi, Ann. I'm cold. I'm drinking iced tea. Makes no sense. Okay. Get it together, Vicky. I'm on time? Woo! <laughs> That's a first. Okay, so I'm hoping someone on here knows because I'm going to give credit and I'll come back and drop it in the comments. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Donna. Hi, Annie. Um, I saw these made last year and I made a few of them and they like flew out the door. Um, and the lady that made them, see, I don't know because she went from, she kind of pivoted from crafting a lot to antiquing. Hill country hoot something. Darn it. I wanted to check that before I hit live and I forgot. Hi, Karen. Okay, so anyways, I'll drop it later. Um, but she's somebody I used to watch craft all the time. And she made these snowflake tree topper um, things. I don't know what you want to call them. But anyways, I made them up last year. I made them in blue. Um, you get them at Walmart, the snowflakes. I made them in blue, white, and red. They also have silver and gold, but I just don't get those. And actually, I didn't even get any red this time out. But this is what they look like. Look at all that glitter. I'm going to be covered. Between that and the ribbon, I'm going to be covered. And that's the white one. <clears throat> so I'm going to make a couple of these. You guys can help me pick the ribbon. I grab some, but if they're not what we like. Also, I thought I might add... Let me show you these cute little things I found at Dollar Tree today because I was out of town and I went to a Dollar Tree. Hi, Ruby. I went to a Dollar Tree that had <laughs> had some different things than mine. And I probably should have lit, like, it, the, it's two icicles. It comes with batteries. Shoot, I thought the batteries were already in them. Well, anyways, I thought these would be cool to work in the bow somehow, but if this is going to take a lot of brain power, I'm not the girl tonight. I'm just not the one. <laughs> so, it looks like each one of these takes three. Really? You stack them right on top of each other. That seems pretty easy, y'all. Let's give it a go. I thought maybe I would put them in, somehow in like the middle. Didn't I just say three each? Now there's only two in here. Anyways, we're going to make some, oh, there it is. It's in the package still. We're going to make some bows, and I'm going to try to work one of these little icicles in there. Thank you, Annie. Thank you. Hi, Carla. Now, I didn't see what way you put these in, but I thought, um, let's just try it this way. If it doesn't work this way, then I'll flip them. You know? So, 
So let's get started. Let me just, I'm not going to run the battery. Run it down, I mean. Shouldn't run down that quick, but let's start with a, okay, so <clears throat> the first year I did these, I didn't leave this on. I'm going to leave it on this time just in case they want to use it. But I made one for myself, and I didn't use a hanger. I, it just goes right up in the top of my tree, and this kind of holds it on. So I don't know. I might be taking that down, taking that off. Um, but I just love them. I mean, it's something that it's a booth filler for me. So I have these sitting all over the place. And actually, I don't know why I didn't buy red, because I think the red went first, then the blue, then the white. And the white, you can do anything on. So, let's actually start with the white. Let, I'm just going to make it easy on myself. I just changed my mind. All right, so you make the bow first. Then you just attach the bow to the middle, and boom, you're done. Um, these are $2.98, I believe, at Walmart. Okay, so here's, here's some of the selection I pulled. Of course, buffalo. There's a silver. There's a white and black buffalo. This is black glittery. Or you could go the other direction and go cutesy and do ho, ho, ho and reindeer. So you all pick. Um, give me... And this will probably be interchangeable or this furry ribbon I have here with that. So you all give me um, likes for the cutesy and hearts for the farmhouse. And let me see if I think I know what it is. <laughs> Hi, Tanya. Donna says cutesy. Buffalo. That was my pick. Oh, there's some little snowflakes too. I forgot to put that in there. I kind of like to save that one though because I'm looking for my wire. Um, it's farmhouse. Farmhouse so far. All right then. What was I starting to say? Oh, the this, I want to do some, um, I'm going to have mom cut out like a rectangle for a football field. I'm going to paint a football field, put some footballs with our team colors, and then do the ribbon. And I've got some, I actually got buffalo plaid in scarlet and gray. <clears throat> and since we're doing so well, don't hate me. <laughs> Buckeyes kind of have, you know, sometimes they get a little cocky. I want that black and white one for sure, Jackie. Okay, so I'm going to start out. We're going to do this one red on the white snowflake. I leave the tails longer when I'm doing these because I can always cut it off, but I can't always, um, you can't add. And I don't want to add streamers because I don't want it to be too bulky and heavy. It's going to be at the top of somebody's tree. Well, I would, I think it will, but I guess they could have just hung them around if they wanted. I sold them as tree toppers. We'll put it that way. <clears throat> So I love those things. Um, gosh, you could do so. There's so many ideas you could have with those. Okay, who else's weather went south today? And by south, I don't mean warm. It's supposed to snow here tomorrow, and I'm really, really angry. <laughs> I just think it's too early. 
Okay, so let me just, I'm just going to bring this over here. Um, I might have gone a little too big, but we'll see. If it's if these are too big, then I can fold them under and kind of glue them and make them a little smaller. They are very, very good. I will give them that. <clears throat> Four inches? Oh, dear me. No, we're just supposed to get an inch, and then it's supposed to go back up into the 40s. And that is enough for me. I don't need no more than that. I really don't want the inch. I'm hoping I have enough of this, because I just would like the white and black in there as well. Well, it's enough to do something with, and you know... We like emptying these because that means we get to go shopping. <laughs> I just, mm -mm. it'd be fine with me if it never snowed. I'm not a snow person. It's painful. And after the first 24 hours, it's ugly. And it causes me to move it. And who wants to do that? Oh, Donna. It's supposed to be 30 here. Hate it. Okay, I'm trying to decide if I want to go back to this. Or... Oh, I wonder how much of this I have left. See, I haven't found, I haven't, um, why didn't I see their ribbon today? I was in a Joann's today. That's never good. I had to go to Joann's to work. <laughs> and after I got done with my work, I shopped. And the lady goes, I thought you were here to work. And I said, I'm shop working. Haven't you ever heard of that? <laughs> but I found some great, uh, I had to get more of the blue and the red because everything we put on, I used it all the last time. Then I picked up a green, where did I get this? I got this at Hobby Lobby because Joann's didn't have a red, I mean a green. So I got those and then I got some more Ohio State fabric. And then this one I was iffy on, even though it's in our colors. But it's got that. So it's gonna, I'm gonna have to be extra careful with it because it's not double backed. And I, mm, drives me crazy when you have to work with stuff that's not double backed because you gotta be careful where you put it. Anyways, let's see. I need more of this. Joann's has it. If they sell. This one, and then one that's just red with a bunch of snowflakes on it. That is gorgeous. <laughs> yes, I was contemplating. I didn't want to break out the, I have a, uh, well, you know, I think you were here last winter. <laughs> I have a red buffalo plaid wool thing. I don't know what it's called. I, um... I actually scored it at a Goodwill. This is a shirt I bought for Oliver and I stole it. <laughs> what are you talking? What are, what are you saying? Six. <laughs> I'm trying to make this so my bears go the same way. Jackie, do not tell me how to do this. Because I'll get confused. 
and we all know how that goes. Jackie explained to me one night how to do this and I was, my brain was bouncing all over the place. So I just do it like this and then I adjust my sizes. This is gonna to need to be smaller. <clears throat> I just need these snowflakes in here, that's all. You have black and white buffalo, Jackie? That's a silly question, probably. <laughs> Okay, I'll play with that in a minute <clears throat> when I get it on there. Okay, so should we go with silver or fuzzy? I think I'm gonna save the fuzzy for maybe that cutesy one because it's got fur on the side of it, the ribbon there. Oh my goodness, you do? <clears throat> Jackie's opening a craft store. Ooh, I like that, because it's got bling on it. I never did get back to my Sam's. I have all these places in my head when I set out for the day that I'm gonna stop. And then by the time I am on my way home, I'm like, Psh, I'm not stopping. <laughs> I am not stopping. Today was rough. I had to go far away, which for me is an hour. Don't ask me how I made it all the way to Louisiana last year and Florida this year um, driving because it just, I'm telling you, it grates on my nerves to be in a car that long. It just, I can't do it. There's not, there's not enough things to do. If I want to get up and go somewhere, you can't. <laughs> I should have taken bow stuff and made bows. Okay, and this black in the middle, I think, will be pretty, too. But I do need to get some more of the Snowflake Red from Joann's. Actually, you're right, Ann. I haven't been to AC more since they put Christmas out. I know where I'm working tomorrow. I gotta go to Hilliard. They need my, they need my attention out there, so I gotta go out there and check on them. Oh, this is going to be so bad. Oh, and then Joann's. Does anybody else think Joann's is wonky with their coupons? Every time I go in there with coupons and I'm thinking it's going to be, I can do this or this or this. I don't know. Just like, why do you put them out if you have all these rules? Aw, thank you, Darla. That was sweet. Okay, so before I put this on there, I really probably should have zipped that, but we'll just do it like this. I'm going to take these out so I can work on top of this 
because I'll use it again and then we will make a couple of these. I have, let's see, my wood bill this week was $250 and mom, the woodchuck, has cut through all of it. Plus what we had left over from last week, the wood. So I have a lot to do in the next two days. But a lot needed base coated, so I didn't want to just come on here and base coat and then you guys not see a finished thing, product. So I decided to do this tonight because I do need these too. I did these and the candy canes that everybody did. Not the, um, not the ones that you wrap in ribbon, but I did the candy canes that you connect together and then put a bow on. The, these were just some of my smalls last year. The books. Okay, let's get this baby on here. So if you're leaving this, and I'm going to leave it for now, but you really, um, I don't think you have to. And I'm just saying that because I used one of these last year and I literally just, we have a real tree in the front room <clears throat> that we used to cut down. And last year we did not cut it down because we couldn't find one big enough. Um, so we had to go to a tree lot, but in the front room is a real tree. And then every place else, the other eight, trees are fake and so the one in the family room where we normally sit and watch tv is all um it's all oh gosh i'd have to count it's not a lot i used to do 30 something i'm much too old for that now <laughs> now it's about 12 maybe Maybe. Um, so the tree in the family room where we sit, and I see it a lot, is all handmade. That's the rule. If hands didn't make it, it doesn't go on there. So. Um, how did I do this? I was going to go straight through the middle. Can't do that because you have to attach it. So I'm going to go up one in between those two little snowflake thingies and then I just turn it over and just wrap it and this is where a zip tie would have come in handy because I think it would hold it a little tighter and then I'll end up cutting this wire off but before I do that I want to make sure I'm this is going to be secure you could also weave it in around these other ones if you wanted to get it on there a little tighter but for now, I'm just going to leave it like that. So then you just um, open up your bow. This one's going to be too big. I knew that those were probably going to be too big. So I'll show you a little cheat trick I do when I do that. Because I do that quite often. hold this and yank these down here. I want all of these down here because I'm going to roll some of them. Some of them I'll roll and some of them I'll just leave like they are. And basically, you guys would have to just like, if you're going to sell these, figure out how much you want for a bow, for the bow that you put on it. And I'd have to figure that up. And then just add the cost of your flake. Hi, Sherry. Hey, Burma. The snowflakes, Cindy, come from Walmart. They're $2.98. They come in white, blue, glitter. They're all glitter, like I'm going to be covered. Red, gold, and silver. And I had some red left over from last year. I just haven't found them yet. Sometimes, you know. I just told mom tonight, I need a tote to get fall packed up. 
I kind of have to half pack fall because um, I still do pilgrims. So when they need decorated, I still need like the florals and stuff. Oh, look at these. Where did I get these? Hobby Lobby. And I'll show you what I love about them. I've seen these other places. And maybe I just haven't seen this particular one. This is going on a wreath with a um, primitive Santa. But they've got rusty bells in them. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so you could put, if you wanted to add to this, you could probably put like some of these, one of these in the center. That would be pretty. If I would have wired one of those in there with my bow. And I got to talking and even forgot I wanted to do this. This. So, can I? I don't know. I don't know if I like it. <clears throat> I'm going to twist this just a little bit. I'm off center there. Hmm. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'd have to wire that. I should have laid this down before well no you don't want to do that because you don't if it burns out you don't want to give people a problem i have to think about that i only got four of them though so i don't have to put it in this one okay so when i make a loop too big or an odd size and it happens i would probably leave this this one though is okay this one might be too big, but I don't think it is. This one is because it comes up above this one. So I gotta fix it. So all I'm gonna do is lift these up. I'm gonna take a little fold in it and go in there with the hot glue. Just a, just a little bit. Don't stick your finger in there, use a glue gun. I mean a glue stick and just fold it on itself. See, now they match. Get rid of the glue strings. So that's how you fix a mistake. And then if you want, you can, what, what is happening? Did you see that? <laughs> that freaked me out a little bit. The glue strands stuck on these and they actually moved when I just moved this. These jumped up off the table. Let's just get rid of those. <laughs> Ouch. That hurt. Okay. So if you want, you can roll these so you can see a little more of the flake. And I'll tell you, um, when I sold these last year, some of them I rolled and some of them I didn't, and they still, they all sold. So it just depends on like, you know, and if I would have seen the rolled ones were going or the ones that weren't rolled were all going one way or the other, but they sold equally well. So, but if I would have seen that, I would have either unrolled or rolled them up. I kind of, we kind of all try and watch the booth like that and same way with placement of stuff. If we see a spot that's like a hot spot and we won't let it sit empty like that, we'll, we'll take something from a spot that maybe isn't moving so well and move it over there. Okay, so that's what they look like rolled up. For me personally, I like the tails and then I'll pull them all down in the middle here um, when I do mine or when I get mine out, mine probably needs really fixed. Okay, Darla, prayers for your daughter. Okay. No, better not be a tiny mouse. You'll see me run and scream like a baby. All right. I'm going to put this one over here and let's do a blue. I'm torn because <laughs> I love 
buffalo plaid, but there's not a whole lot of blue. Dang, I did see a shirt today somewhere that was blue buffalo plaid. I should have got that. Thank you. Okay. Get that out of the way. I think I already cut. Yes, I did. All right, here we go. Let me see if I've got any other options over here. I have, ooh, I don't know how much of this I have. This is last year. Ouch. Sam's. I need that too. You got that, Jackie? This blue. This was Joanne's last year. I loved, loved, loved this stuff. I hope they have it again this year. There, that one. Gray with snowflakes. I love that one too. So are we going to go blue, blue? Teal. I don't think teal's going to look right on here. You guys can see that. Hmm. I don't know. Hold on. That looks good. I always like a touch of black. And this one says, you know, when I'm doing snowmen and stuff, I normally don't use it because it says C Merry Christmas on it, but this is going to be a tree topper, so it's got Christmas is okay. Because people like to leave. I think I'm going to go. Is Kate on here? I didn't see her. She'll know what to put in your in your vaporizer. Start out black or blue. That's been crazy today. And yesterday. Yesterday, I was pulling up pages and they weren't coming up. They were saying no information found. I'm like, what? Crazy. <clears throat> blue, blue. Yeah, that's what I think. Oh, you want me to start out with blue? Your Walmart doesn't have them? Ouch. ACL is awful. Um, I tore my meniscus twice, but Tommy tore his ACL in a football game about five years ago and that was an awful surgery he um, came home with this big old water pump he had to put on his leg it's awful pain let's let's put it that way the surgery probably he was um, it was a relief Didn't she do that a while ago? Did I read that right? It runs in my mind she did that a while. I can't imagine them making her go that long. That hurts. A meniscus was bad enough. Hey, Amanda. This is noisy ribbon. <laughs> Maybe that's why I don't use it. Shoot. And it's like, ow. It's bending the pins. How did I have that in there? Okay, that's for another time. 
All right, how about this one next? I'm going in a little smaller this time. <clears throat> Just a little. I don't know why I don't get out my thing that holds these. I am going right in and order that four and one from Provo. Because I always say it and then I forget because <clears throat> I have like a thousand things on my mind. Isn't it pretty? It came from Celebrate it is Joanne's, right? Wait a minute. No. Michael's. Yeah, Michael's. <clears throat> Joanne's is Makers. I believe. <laughs> This is why you should use your tools that you have available instead of throwing things on the table. <laughs> yes, it is Michael's. Because I know this one's Joanne's and it says Makers. I know, I know. I love that whole line that they came out with. Also, don't you love how they're all like putting ribbon out and they're grouping them in boxes that coordinate? I love that. I can't buy it online because it's just, it boggles my brain when you go to look at all of it. And it's just like, you know, you pull up one at a time. I just can't do that. I wish I could. Because sometimes you can only find things, certain things online. Shoot. Should have got that out before. Okay, what's next? I think I'll see if I got enough of this to do this next. to shop online. Who do I buy from? Well, I don't know as if I've ever had to buy online before. Because there's everything around here. Jackie would be better at that. Answering that question. I think Have I ever bought ribbon online? Hmm. I've purchased kits online. And Marilyn, it's cold and it's going to snow tomorrow. And I have my sunglasses. It was cloudy all day. I have my sunglasses on because I'm trying to be optimistic and will it away. <laughs> I don't ever wear my sunglasses on my face. I always have them on my head because it holds my hair back. And my hair needs cut. But... 
my girl is gone out of town this week, so the lady that does my hair, cuts my hair normally, cannot do it. So I just have to wait. When it gets this long, it like gets, I don't know, it gets really flat and I think it makes me look messy. Especially when it's not summer. When it's summer and I can pull it up, it doesn't bother me. But I'd freeze if I'd pull it up right now. <laughs> I just don't know why we have to have winter. Ow. My hand is still swollen. I have no clue what happened. And you know, to get into a doctor, you have to have wait 30 days. I'm like, I just might as well wait 30 days. It'll go down. Craft Outlet. Deco Exchange. Wreath Shop. Pringles Design. Trendy Tree. Hey, who's, um, isn't there someone in our group that sells it? Jackie? I think I see her live sometimes. Uh-oh. Okay, so what's the chances that both of the ones that have gone empty were Joann's? And I want to go to Joann's for this. That means it's meant to be. <laughs> Sure. Sure it is. Go with me here, y'all. It's meant to be. Yeah, I don't know how I've ended up. I tried to move to Florida once. That was many, many moons ago, like before my children. So we know how long that is. How long ago that was. That was a long time ago. Oh my goodness. Let's just do two of this. You ever, have you guys ever bought something and you forget what you bought it for? I was so excited to find this the other day. I immediately knew what I was going to use it for. I bought it whew, right on my head. I have no clue, but I'm being very stingy with it because it will probably be sold out when I go back or when I remember. <laughs> oh my word. I'm usually not one that gets freaked out by age. It doesn't bother me. But I'm, I gotta tell you. Fifty six is not thrilling me. Oh. You hated it. I know you're in Ohio. <laughs> and my question is, why? I tried to move when I was married. We, I said, let's move to Florida and get out of this weather. Clear back then, 18, you guys, I did not like cold. And my husband at the time, it was an oven. See, I like an oven. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. I did dye it this morning. I had too much gray showing. Which also, because my hair is thin up here. Don't get me started on that, because that's another over 50 thing, okay? 
hair sprouts where it shouldn't and it falls out of where it shouldn't. Okay? <laughs> Does not thrill me. <laughs> Anyways, he said he had a job. We took off to Florida. Ended up living in a roadside rest because, um, no, he didn't have a job. <laughs> Dad sent me money and got me back home. I was still very angry, though. Yes, I have arthritis. And my doctor... <laughs> I was just going to say, you hate the humidity because you're curly hair. My hair is curling until I brush it out. Um, my family doctor says I have, he thinks I have RA. The RA doctor three years ago said, no, you don't. So now he's sending me back. I was supposed to go, um, last week and I completely forgot about the appointment with everything going on. So I called and of course, now it's at the end of November, that appointment but cold throws my bones into trauma or something. I don't know. It's just awful. And here, where it goes, you know, it can be 80 one day and 30 the next. Those kind of changes really make me uh, cry. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't really know if, as if I care if I have RA because um, as far as I know, the meds that are they put you on for it, I don't, I'm not interested. I really don't want them. So, I mean, I guess I could manage it other ways, but that's why I just really haven't been forceful enough with the doctors on that front because... They can just argue all they want, and I'll just be over here waiting. <laughs> Wyoming. What's that like? And yes, that's that was my next question. Where are you from? <laughs> I'd love to get a Christmas tree and shorts and flip flops. Well, not anymore now that we're not cutting them down. Oh, I was going to go live last year and everything. We get out there to the farm we've been going to for 30 years. They didn't even have one big enough. I don't know what happened to all of them. I know they had more than 30. They can't blame it on me for taking them all. I had to laugh, though, you guys. Every Okay, so my dad was known for big Christmas trees. He loved big trees. Okay, so he passed very young, he's 45. So every year, mom and I are like, we're getting the biggest one. Plus I get extra, cause I make great blankets for all my people. So, um, because great blankets are expensive and I don't have that kind of cash. But if you get a little extra few feet in your tree, it pays for itself. Chop it off and use the greens. Anyway, um, so after about 15 or so years of getting all these big trees, I don't know, we decided to pull out pictures and look at past trees. He got big trees back then, but every year I think our memory got more and more warped, and so we went bigger and bigger and bigger. My dad never got no trees as big as what we get. <laughs> and here all this time... We got to keep his tradition alive and get a big tree. He would probably call us nuts if he saw the trees that we brought in that house. 
He'd think we were nuts. But like I said, I do, um, even with cutting off, I think last year we cut off, I think I bought a 12 foot tree. I have eight foot ceilings. We don't have a big house, we got a ranch. So I bought a 12 foot tree, we cut off, um, <sighs> we cut off four feet, cause it did go. We have these marks on our ceiling from where <laughs> When we go to set up a tree, we scrape the tree across the ceiling. We have a big screw eye about this big down in the baseboard, and we put rope around the main branch, bring it down to the baseboard, and tie the tree because a couple of times we've they've fallen over. So... Yeah, we kind of uh, remembered that wrong. All right, this one's got a little bit of a different. Yes, it does. How cool is that? I didn't even know, you guys. See, just like real life, snowflakes are different. I went to tie this, and I'm like, that's not where I tied it on the white one. It's because the white and the... Now I'm going to have to pull out the... Find the red ones. Pull them out and see if they're different too. Let me show you what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so on the, on the white one I made, I tied the wires here and here. So I go to look for it on this one and look how different they are. Good thinking. Walmart store. Okay, so I said I was going to make it littler, and I didn't. Now it's just a matter of messing with the bow and getting it all fluffed up. Seeing if I, I should, I think I want to make it like, I might have to put some glue here and there on this one. And then I will roll these because I got a little carried away. This is what happens when I talk. When I talk and craft, I just get carried away and keep going. Okay, I'm going to leave two or three of these down. Okay, so here we go. That's that right? Yep. That's the blue, blue snowflake, blue bougie bow to go up in the top of your tree. Whoops, there, top of your tree. There's the red buffalo chuck on the white snowflake. And like I said, they have them in all different colors. Um, I do normally buy the red. I think I've bought the silver once. I don't think I've ever bought the gold. But aren't, they're just, they're perfect booth fillers. And they make a statement. Like, especially if you don't go overboard. Now, some of these, <laughs> like I did. Some of these little loops I'm going to fold under and glue. Like I did. I won't make you wait for that. Oh, and I forgot the <laughs> icicle again. You guys, I just can't talk. <laughs> and craft. <laughs> I wanted to really try it on this one. Now, if I glued that in, that would be cute. I don't necessarily want to wire it in because they do, they are battery operated. So I don't want to um, have anything like if they, if the batteries go bad and they got to change them out or something, you don't want to make them tear apart what they bought from you. But that would just, or, you know, what I do, I mean, this this would be great to grab attention for no other reason. You know what I mean? At your booth. Because they grab attention anyways because they're so sparkly. But um, I'm going to make these. I'm going to take these in just a little bit so I can see more of the flake itself. Jackie, one of your bows, you know how you make the tight, tight ones on the Pro Bow? 
One of those would be amazing. Hi, Christina. <laughs> oh, Sandy. Yes, I got these at Walmart. They're two ninety eight, and then I just add a bow, and I sell them as tree toppers. Um, and I was thinking about adding this to it. Now on mine, I take lights all through it because I just take the lights from the tree up through it. But if that's sitting in your boat, in your bow, in your booth like that, because that's what I do with them. I set them like all around. I put, you know, my crates up. You guys have seen my booth um, probably when we've been at a show. We've put pictures up or something. But I set my crates up and set all the big wood stuff around. And then I set these around too. Just to kind of, they always go, you guys. It's a good project. All right, guys, that's all, that's all I have for tonight. I'm going to keep on cranking these out, try to find my red ones. <laughs> and um, I will be back Sunday night. These are from the Dollar Tree, and they even came with the batteries. They have three little, let me show you the package. They have three little watch batteries per icicle. They look like watch batteries. Um, they were a dollar for two of them. And then these batteries just go in the top. You just drop them in. And when you want to turn it on, you just twist this a little tighter and it comes on. So that was a good find. I didn't know they had, well, I haven't seen them there before. Doesn't mean. Yeah, you could put a, the battery Dollar Tree lights like I put on my wreath signs, the one. Hey, no problem. Tina, did you make it back home okay? I was actually in the middle of watching that replay when I realized it was time for me to come on. <laughs> oh, you guys, I have so much painting to do. You wouldn't believe it. But I'll get it done somehow. Thank you, Sandy. Thanks, Sherry. All right, you guys, I will see you Sunday night after the show on Saturday and see what I can <laughs> come up with that tired. <laughs> Finally, oh, did it take a while? <laughs> All right, I will see y'all later. You guys have a blessed evening, a blessed uh, rest of your week, and I'll see you on Sunday. Thank you so much. Bye.